just thoughts while I'm on my walk here this week talking about character in the men's ministry and one of the main points is integrity and I was just praying about this word thinking about this word and it hits the nail right on the head because integrity what that means is that your actions thoughts behaviors intentions are imbued in truth right it's not just integrity in the in the sense of i i tell a lie with my words or i tell a lie um in general what it is is when you are interacting with somebody or something or you're doing a task in whatever role you are in that moment are you doing it imbued in truth and and what are those intentions behind that specific action and specific thought and that is only between you and God at the end of the day no one else can read your mind and so this this concept of integrity or truth is what connects you to God and then the question is well what is the opposite of integrity if you're not walking in truth what are you doing well you're living in a lie and what is it to to lie what that implies is the enemy now is in your spiritual space that you have chosen betrayal and that's why not acting out with integrity not speaking per se but actually acting out walking out living out integrity that's why it hurts so bad when the truth actually starts to reveal itself because you realize the entire time you've had an intimacy with the enemy because that's what a lie is and the the whole time God has been trying to call you back to him and then the enemy lets go of its grip when you realize what's going on and so going back to betrayal and and the concept of truth well then the question becomes if if truth is the connection to God because God is the truth the word is the truth then the exercise becomes i need to expose or interact with the word as much as possible that way i am imbuing myself with the knowledge of what truth is that way i'm less susceptible to the lies when they come to attack and and that's one of the hardest things is the enemy is so strong the enemy is so powerful he's been doing it for thousands of years attacking people creating lies and he's so good at it that sometimes you start to believe the lie you believe the lie actually is truth you believe the lie actually is god's will and god's intention for you but deep down the holy spirit groans for you to turn back to god and and what his true attributes are and so the only way to be imbued in truth is to know god's attributes and to know if these thoughts actions and behaviors are god's attributes cuz god wants wants you to be prosperous he wants you to be abundant everything he makes is is good and everything he allows to happen has good to be found in it his holy spirit does not escape us at any point and so the question becomes well how do i know if i'm actually living in a state of betrayal if i'm actually living in a state of lies and and not integrity well you got to pay attention You got to keep diving into the word. You got to keep praying and then pay attention to how you feel. 
What signs is God giving you back physiologically, psychologically? What conversations are you having? What is the world, what is creation showing you? Truly, what is it truly showing you and how do you feel about everything that's going on? And, and does this feeling reflect God's will? If not, you may be attacked by the enemy and you may be living in, in a, a state of deceit, in a state of betrayal and away from integrity, away from truth, away from God. For Jesus says, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. And so that is why integrity is laid upon our, our hearts. And that's why we should go after it because not only does it connect us to God, it is God, it is Jesus. And so by not living in that state, well, now you've created a separation and now you have a lack of intimacy with the Savior. And so you just have to get back to that state where God wants you to feel good. God wants you to feel happy. If these attacks are happening or these thoughts you're having are producing thoughts that don't feel good, that don't lead to your happiness, that's not God. That's the enemy trying to create doubt in your head, trying to create lies in your head. And so those are my thoughts right now on truth, betrayal, lies, deceit, the attack of the enemy, and always the saving grace of our God, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.